Hi, and welcome back to my study course guide for uh, class 308 in uh, Houston Community College, and I'm working through chapter 8 to study before my final exam, and these are my study review videos, because um, me just talking about it kind of gets me aggressed. This is how I self-teach, and... If you want to pick up on my videos while I'm studying, just kind of lean over my shoulder while I'm studying, you are more than welcome to do that. And we have been figuring out the um, <clears throat> areas so far of different parallelograms. Uh, not uh, excuse me, quadrilaterals. Sorry, I, I do need to uh, practice a little bit because I do know my verbiage. It might not be expressed completely correct, but it possibly, you know, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, we found the area for a square, which was a side squared. Remember, I get those mixed up, and I usually say this cute, but it really means squared. So you've got your area of a, of a square as side cubed, because it's basically equal to the same thing as the triangular, which is the concept of a rectangle here, which the area for will be the times width. And then we also went over a parallelogram, which basically you have these equal sides here. And we found the area by doing the base times the height. And now we've moved on here to another type of uh, quadrilateral here called a trapezoid. And now in a trapezoid, it's basically a parallelogram that's been chopped in half. So you can kind of see a parallelogram being made if you went and then like that, we could get a parallelogram made out of this object here. So basically, we make a parallelogram out of a trapezoid. So whenever we do the area, remember how we got it out of a parallelogram? We did base times base time the height. So basically, for a trapezoid, because we know that this and this is equal to what the flip over of that is. Do you just see what happened there? I took this shape here and I flipped it over to create a parallelogram, so meaning that this side will now connect up to here, and this side here will now connect up to here, meaning that I just added, if this side was 5 and this side here was 10, it would be, you know, you could have your 10 plus 5, and your uh, 10 plus 5 here, meaning that it would be even on either side to get that, par to build that parallelogram, so whenever we want to find the area, instead of, we're basically Finding the same thing for a parallelogram, you're just chopping it in half because a trapezoid is half of a parallelogram. So you've got your area, and you can also see this in different ways. It's basically, you know, you've got A plus B, which will give you a parallelogram side, and you divide it in half because a trapezoid is half of your parallelogram again times your height because for the area there, we remember we, get, we have the height because we can see A. Um, a square, a rectangle inside of this figure here. See how far it goes? It goes deep. So, therefore, we do have this side plus this side chopped in half because you're basically adding them together to get one side of a parallelogram. I usually try to explain things three times before I get it, and maybe possibly you get it too. So if you cut it in half times the height, you will get the area of a trapezoid. 